narcissists are energy vampires. Energy vampires will make you feel very tired. They will leave you completely exhausted drained of your resources or reserves. Whenever you are around them, you will feel angry or upset. They will always put you under pressure or tension. Energy vampires are not just people that you don't like. They're not just people that you disagree with. They will exploit you for your energy and most often you won't even know it until it's too late. Narcissists are energy vampires. They share many of the same traits. They are self-absorbed and lack empathy. They are very manipulative. They have a persistent determination to not change their attitude or position on something, even in spite of good arguments or reasons to do so. They believe that they, are, that they are entitled and deserving of privileges or special treatment. They expect you to be ready to react to their commands without a delay. They view you as their emotional punching bag. They use you to let out all of their emotions and take it out on you. If they have had a bad day, they will be angry towards you. Even though you may not have done anything wrong, they use you to get rid of all of their problems, anger, frustration and sadness. But they don't care about how it affects you. They always have to be the victim in every situation. And if you dare to confront them on their behaviour, they will blame you. They will find a fault or mistake that you have made and state that you are the problem. They cannot take responsibility for their faults or mistakes. They cannot hold themselves accountable. They will blame you for their problems. If you try to confront them, they will manipulate you into feeling guilty. This will then allow them to persuade or lead you into doing something for them, such as doing a favour for them or providing them with more emotional support. Why do they have to do this? Why do they have to drain you of your energy? The reason why narcissists are energy vampires is due to their low self-esteem. They lack confidence in their own worth or abilities. They feel as though they are not enough. Which leads them to seek validation from you as a coping mechanism. That is why they require so much emotional support from you. That is why they're so needy and clingy and can't leave you alone. But they're not with you to give anything to you. They're self-absorbed. They're preoccupied with their own feelings, interests or situation. And that is why they will only talk about themselves. They will never listen to anything that you have to say. They lack empathy, 
so they are unable to share your feelings or experiences. They are unable to imagine what it would be like to be in your situation. They can only pretend to care about you. And they will only do that when it benefits them. They will always expect you to put them first. They will always expect you to treat them as being more important than anything else. And if you don't, give, if you don't give in to their constant need for your attention, they will be very angry or upset with you. Energy vampires want to have power and influence over you. They want to feel as though they are superior to you. They may often talk a lot and in an unpleasant or offensive way. They may, they may often talk before thinking about what they are saying or why they are saying it. They may talk very loud as though they feel that no one is hearing them. The reason for this is because they are actually deeply insecure about themselves. They are afraid of appearing weak or as though they lack good sense or judgement. They overcompensate for this by intimidating you and making an effort to have power and influence over you. They have to put you down to feel good about themselves. But they secretly believe that you are above them. Energy vampires love to create chaos and drama. They love to be the centre of attention. They have an exaggerated sense of their own importance or abilities. They love to make people feel sorry for them. They thrive in times of intense difficulty or danger. They have a histrionic trait of making a mountain out of a molehill. They will often engage in overreactive behaviour where they make too much out of a minor issue. They can make a slight difficulty seem like a serious problem. They enjoy gossiping about other people's private lives. They enjoy causing trouble. It helps to distract themselves from the emptiness they feel inside. And they will do whatever it takes just to feel something. Even if it's negative. Energy vampires will constantly criticise you. They will always try to make you feel bad about yourself. They will take advantage of your insecurities and use them to cause you distress. They will psychologically manipulate you. They will try to change your behaviour or perception of yourself or other people through indirect, deceptive or underhand tactics. They have a hidden agenda of always wanting things to work out in their favour. They will specifically target kind, caring people. When you display empathy or compassion to an energy vampire, they will use it against you. Although you may be unwilling, they will persuade you to do something you don't want to do. By using force or threats, they will demand so much more than you are able to give. You need to separate yourself from these energy vampires. You 
need to set healthy boundaries. If someone is draining you of your energy, they do not belong in your life. If you are around them long enough, they will cause serious harm to you. It will begin to affect your psychological and emotional well-being. Recognize the signs that you are dealing with an energy vampire and become aware of what you don't want to do or what is not okay for you. When you do this, you will instantly notice that you begin to feel free. You will have more energy to take care of yourself and do the things that you want to do. You will have more energy to live the life that you want to live. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you'd like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsmothercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.